Greetings and welcome to Passive Income, the side hustles. Side hustles until you quit your job and hopefully someday your side hustle will be your only hustle and you'll say goodbye to your job. So today's topic, TikTok, social media platform or spyware or target. That's the thing about TikTok. It's a really fast growing social media platform, growing faster than anything else right now, but it's also been a target. You know, people people are after TikTok. So we'll take a look at some of these things and you can decide whether or not, you know, I'm making this presentation basically for people who are thinking about getting into TikTok. You know, I'm, I'm not, a, you know, uh, I'm kind of a beginner as far as getting into it. I just started using it. But, you know, I chose to do it, but it's not my only gig. You know, I have other backup plans. Well, I have other, you know, major plans. So TikTok, a social media platform and a huge target. It's always been a target. A target of who? A target from who? Who am? The presidential administrations, you know, started with Trump. And now Biden, it's like Biden doesn't doesn't know what to do with it. U.S. federal government, you know, branches and departments, U.S. Department of Com Commerce, Department of Defense, congressional committees, you know, uh, the House and the Senate, you know, whatever congressional committee of the day wants to uh, take a look at TikTok, they do it. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, these congressional committees are people getting together to get publicity. You know, they're not really doing anything constructive except for getting their name in the paper or something. Introduction, is TikTok legal in the USA? Well, it depends on what day it is, <laughs> really. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, we'll discuss this, but, you know, TikTok is something you just have to keep in mind if you're just looking at going to TikTok now because, you know, it's kind of fun. It's not very restrictive. You can get away with a lot of stuff on TikTok and you can get popular and, you know, just you know, if you get 100,000 followers on TikTok, which, you know, isn't that hard to do. I've seen a lot of people writing uh, YouTube videos about, you know, how they got 100,000 viewers in, you know, a relatively short period of time. It's easier to do than get 100,000 on YouTube. But, you know, if that's going to be your only gig, there are some things in this uh, video that I'm making here that you should be thinking about. Something to keep in mind that TikTok has been a target of congressional and presidential inquiries and studies and has been viewed as Chinese spyware in the past. So why, why would it be viewed as spyware? Well, because <laughs> there are Chinese things like Huawei that is spyware, <laughs> you know, Huawei has a really close relationship with the you know Chinese Communist Party and with the Chinese military and that's why it was banned and that's why you know the US tried to extradite the uh, the CEO I think of Huawei a, a woman who visited Canada <laughs> and she I think she was stuck in Canada for like almost a year <laughs> but uh, I, I don't I didn't follow what happened with that I just lost interest but Anyways, uh, you know, there are reasons to believe that uh, uh, TikTok could be used as spyware. And that's been a big factor in, you know, whether or not it's highly regulated in the U.S. So I did some investigations here that I could talk about. First of all, looking at the U.S. Department of Commerce. So first, a little bit of background on me. I'm not really that in tune with the Department of Commerce. I, I spent, you know, I have a couple of graduate degrees and I've spent decades as a global business consultant. I've worked in the U.S., most major markets in the U.S. and in Europe and in Asia. I've lived in China. Um, so I'm really familiar with a lot of things, especially Chinese intellectual property theft and Chinese illegal business practices. I consider myself an expert in those areas, but we're talking the Department of Commerce here, which is not related. I'll let you know when I get related. <laughs> so Department of Commerce, and this is just an open uh, Google search and, you know, the dates on them jump back and forth a lot. And I just wanted to show you 
how the dates jump back and forth a lot because whether TikTok is being regulated or not jumps back and forth a lot with the date. <laughs> so U.S. Department of uh, U.S. Commerce Department rescinds TikTok and WeChat from Reuters. This is uh, June 2021, a year ago. Uh, Commerce Department prohibits WeChat and TikTok, and that's from 2020. So it goes back and forth. Biden and the administration weighing new rules to limit TikTok. This is 2022. So you can see, you know, just by the time frame, it, it jumps around whether TikTok is being regulated or attacked or targeted or not. So and then up, up on the upper right, TikTok can continue to operate in the U.S., um, to, by the Department of Commerce, the Commerce Department said Thursday. Uh, second, U.S. judge blocks Commerce Department's restrictions. Uh, Commerce Department still weighing approach to Huawei and TikTok. Those are still two different prod products, you know, uh, are two different circumstances. Huawei definitely is related to the Chinese Communist Party and to the military. TikTok is suspected of that sometimes, depending on, you know, what day of the week it is. U.S. agency submits initial recommendations on app data. Commerce Department rescinds TikTok. WeChat bans. WeChat was also banned. Um, you know, I've been a WeChat user for years. Um, I did delete TikTok from my desktop because I, it was doing something that I didn't like, and I forgot what it was. <laughs> but I deleted it from my desktop. <clears throat> Uh, U.S. backs down on TikTok from the Wall Street Journal. So now we go to the Department of Defense. So a lot of people that are in my line of business of doing global business consulting with the, you know, the IBMs and Deloitte's and Accenture's of the world often find themselves on federal projects. And that is, you know, I've, I've worked with, you know, a lot of different federal agencies. My, you know, a lot of you know, people just call that, you know, government, state and local and federal. A lot of people specialize in state and local, and I don't. I've only been on a, a couple of state and state projects. But most of my uh, government stuff is is U.S. and it's all in the uh, um, realm of aerospace and defense, and a lot of it has to do with military bases. So I can't talk about that too much, but. I've worked a lot for the Department of Defense and for NASA. So, and, and other federal agencies in Washington, D.C. So, this is all Department of Defense stuff here. U.S. military branches block access to TikTok app. So, that's in January 2020. Discover Department of Defense's popular videos on TikTok. <laughs> so, that's... Department of Defense's popular videos. The Department of Defense is warning people not to use TikTok. Okay, TSA, Transportation and Safety Administration, and U.S. military branches have banned TikTok. So, again, this goes back and forth because I don't have a time restriction here. I just wanted to show you how it jumps back and forth. Biden revokes Trump TikTok and WeChat ban order. So, you know, Trump banned, you know, TikTok and WeChat, both kind of, you know, using the excuse that the, they're Chinese spyware, but, um, you know, also keeping in mind that, hey, China is banning our stuff like Facebook and, you know, all, you know, a bunch of U.S. and European social media apps. Most of them are U.S., most of the big ones like YouTube and uh, Facebook would be the big ones, you know, that are banned in China. And China, China does stuff like that. You know, I'm you know, kind of an expert on Chinese intellectual property theft and Chinese illegal business practices, and I can talk for months about this. Um, so there's a lot of illegal business practices. For example, every car manufacturer in the world has to be in a joint, they're in a forced joint venture with a Chinese company so that Chinese companies can steal the technology. And that's the only reason, you know. It, you know, China acts like a poor developing country, you can do business in our country if you partner with our companies, uh, you know, so we learn things. No, so you steal things. <laughs> That's why. 
So anyways, Rubio urge, urges army to enforce a ban of TikTok for recruitment. <laughs> so this is 2021. Uh, you know, <laughs> the army uses TikTok for recruiting. And, you know, that's that's kind of crazy. U.S. military bans TikTok over ties to China, Wall Street Journal. So that's jumping back to 2020. So in 2020, that was one of those years where it was cool to ban TikTok. And, you know, 2021 is, you know, now the Army's using it for recruiting. Army follows Pentagon guidance, bans Chinese-owned social media stuff. Here's why the Pentagon says you should delete TikTok. So that's going back to 2020. Army bans TikTok following guidance from the Pentagon. That's 2019. So like I said, I, I looked up TikTok, Department of Defense, without a time restriction, just to show you how it jumps back and forth. TikTok sometimes is a big target, and sometimes it's not. Depends on what data week it is and, you know, who's doing what. Some kind of congressional uh, investigation or, you know, presidential um, investigation, you know, just all kinds of stuff. 